Dean Professor and Classmates. So I'm going to present my activity one for the Doctor of Technology Education uh, Program, Statistical Quality Control. So the first question, what is statistical quality control? Then what are the various aims? So statistical quality control is the application of course for the purpose of quality control, the manufacturing process. And it has two main uh, objectives. This is for quality production and the separation of allowable variations. And it's in the three categories of SQC, how are different, what information they provide, and how can they be used together. So we have descriptive statistics and statistical process control and acceptance sampling. And these tools can be used together effectively. We have visual statistical tools as inputs into SQC, which is uh, frequently updated to ensure that problems are caught in timely manner. And for the third uh, question, what are the key differences between common and sizable causes of variation? So, a sizable causes of variation can be seen as the unnatural variations which are present in any process, and common variations are due to natural variations in the system which are unavoidable and occur for perfectly random. And for the fourth question, describe quality control. Chart and how it can be used for the upper and lower limits. So it's means when observation falls outside the control limit. So samples of our product or services are plotted on the control chart of life. We interpret the chart to determine whether the variation in the process is normal or abnormal. If variation is normal, the process is assumed to be controlled. Then if the variation is abnormal, the process is assumed to be out of control. The chart tells us whether it is likely that the process has changed. If the process has changed or is out of control, then it is likely that we are producing defects. The fourth, uh, the fifth question explain the differences between X bar and R chart, how it can be used together, and why it would be important to use them together. So, uh, for the main principle, the X bar and the R chart should be used together. The inaccurate average temperature would have been detected by the X chart. Then the changes in the temperature will be detected by the R chart if we look at our example of using a microwave oven. Then for the sixth question, uh, explain the use of P charts and C charts. Uh, so when we use them, so a C chart can be used instead of a P chart when the proportion of defects in the process cannot be determined. So the proportion of both the units and sample is recorded a P chart, then a C chart is used to keep track of the amount of flaws in the sample. The seventh question, explain what is meant by process capability. Why is it important? Why is it tell us and how can it measure? So process capability represents the effectiveness of a process in producing a unit within the specifications or how good the process is at producing between this specification. That capability provides the understanding of process improvement often used with control curves to determine if the outputs are as expected or if an unnatural variation has caused the process to produce out of the specification, leading to expenses and wastage. The, seven, uh, the eighth question describes the uh, process of acceptance something. What types of something plans are there and what is acceptance something useful? So acceptance sampling is a statistical measure to determine whether to accept or reject a production material. So the information from an inspected sample allows to make decision of acceptance or rejection. If the product conforms to the given specifications, it is accepted. If it's rejected, the product will not conform to the given specification. So these are the uh, types of acceptance sampling. You have single sampling plans, double sampling plans, multiple sampling plans, and sequential sampling plans. And for the advantages of acceptance sampling, uh, acceptance sampling is economical and less time-consuming than 100% inspection. Computation uh, works are relatively less, involves a less number of staff for inspection. Products of the staff in nature can be inspected easily. Scheduling and delivery times are improved due to the inspection process. The disadvantages is that Success of a system is directly related with something randomness and acceptance something that does not provide this assurance for the confirmation of specification. It's also a risk of drawing from proportion about the quality of the product. So this is my reference. Thank you and have a nice day.